Hi, I'm Gabe Gaines with Modern Ag with another installment of the 2021 Modern Ag video product series. Today we will be talking about the Field Level 2 program on the Trimble TMX 2050 display. In this, in this program we'll be running it on the FMX Plus app of the 2050. Uh, with Field Level we need to have RTK correction, so you will need a base station with you or within a base station network to run RTK in order to give you the vertical accuracy that you will need. So as you can see here, we do not have RTK currently since we're in, indoors, but this is what it would show you if you had lost signal. Uh, with the Field Level 2 program, uh, it'll look just like the FMX, normal FMX user interface. You will have your Field Level options over here to the right, as well as your Cut Fill legend at the bottom. Uh, with the Field Level, you have multiple modes. You have Plane, Earth Surface, and Flat Plane, as well as Multi-Plane. So with multi-plane, you can do 3D designs that we can load in here from whether they be terrace designs or plane designs or pad designs. And then with the plane earth surface and the plane flat, you can create manual flat planes on a certain slope. Uh, to do that, you will set benchmarks. So we will go through that process here. You will set benchmarks on the both ends of the slope you are looking at doing. So as you can see here, we have multiple benchmarks on the screen. Once, once you're into these design benchmarks, you can create a new plane. From the new plane, you can add the benchmarks that you're wanting to use in your design. So we can do benchmark three, three, benchmark two, and then also your slope heading. So we will want to go from Three, two, two. Once you have that, then you hit OK. And this allows us our flow arrows from benchmark three to benchmark two. So if we we're just wanting to make a flat plane real quick or dig a or dig a ditch, we can program in our primary slope here. So if we wanted to be flat, we could have zero. If we were digging a ditch or a tile line in and wanted a 1% slope, we could post that in here. And then that would give us a 1% plane between those two points. We can also program in a cross slope uh, to work the plane the other direction and also change our heading if we're wanting our ditch to go another direction as well. If we are wanting to dig down, we can also change our height above pivot if we're wanting to offset that ditch down. Once you do that, then you can look over here on your map and you can see what your cuts will be at certain benchmarks. So since we're going from three to two, we'll have a zero, zero cut at three since that's where we're starting. And then a cut of 1.57 at benchmark two in order to achieve this slope of 1%. Uh, once we're ready and have that set, it will then give you a line. You will see your benchmarks out here on the screen. And then you will have a cut fill chevron here as well as a cut fill uh, amount up, up top. From those cut fill chevrons you can either have auto automatic control to control the scraper to do this work or or manual control if you're using an excavator or any other sort of tool to uh, dig a ditch. That concludes our field level overview.